nobody saw this coming. In fact, in ministry, we're taught to do evangelism, we're taught to do, write sermons, but nobody talked about how we would end up having to change everything to a digital age. And here we are. We're having to do it. So last night, I came home from our virtual prayer circle, and I was completely exhausted. It had been an extremely long day. My brain is just completely fried, and I have no clue what to do. And I take a deep breath, I lay back in my chair and I fall asleep. It's pretty much the par for the course nowadays. So MJ knocks on my knee and says, hey, go to sleep. I'll be in in just a little bit. So I go into the bedroom and before I lay down, I'm making the bed and I'm half exhausted. So I don't even know if the bed got made, but here I am, I'm looking down at her books and I notice the title of one of the books and it asks the question, where does God fit in? And I really started pondering this question. Where does God fit into this entire situation? It seems as if God is absent, but he's really not. He's speaking to us every single day if we're willing to pay attention. So where does he fit in? Where does he fit into our lives? Where does he fit into the situation? Where does he fit in in just everyday life? He fits in where he belongs. He is guiding this according to his plan in his purpose. Well, what do you mean? Isaiah 55 gives us the answer. You may not like it, but it's very clear. Isaiah 55 verses 8 and 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so my thoughts are higher than yours, and my ways are higher than yours. We may not always understand what's going on. We may not have a clue as to why God, but God does. God's got a plan. He's got a purpose. And it's our job to trust him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. He's never going to let us down. He's never going to fail us. Hold true and hold tight to who God is. Until next time.